My name is Scott August. I'm 38 years old. I live in Sussex County, New Jersey. At 15 years old, you know, I started using heroin. By 16, got an 18 month sentence. By the time I was 19, I had a 12 year prison sentence. I came home and finished that 12 year sentence. By the end of 2009, I was back in prison on a four year sentence. Like, you couldn't stop me from getting high. That was my thing, you know. And I kept doing that. And in prisons, you know, I felt like I'm getting older, I'm watching some 56 year old men climb up on top bunks that used to be tough guys back in the day. And it's like, damn, is that gonna happen to me? You know, it's not really what I want. Maybe it was time to try to change. You know, I was at Mid State. I got a, a thing from Rutgers State and that they have a new program called the IRTS program. IRTS stands for Intensive Recovery Treatment Support Program. The program was really developed to help individuals who are coming out of prison uh, have a smoother reentry, connect with addiction treatment services. And the main goals of the program are to reduce relapse in these individuals as they re-enter into the community and, and reduce recidivism so that they don't go back into the prison system. It's kind of a humbling thing to say, listen, I messed up, but uh, so I did it. And um, it ended up being like one of the best things I ever did. I think the biggest component is the peer support specialist component lived experience somebody that knows there's a difference between saying I understand and saying I've been where you've been and there is another way out I'm an example having met you know the peer navigator while I was still incarcerated and having those three months before you leave and then as you get to know somebody and you see like they're really on your side you open up a little bit more leaving the prison and coming home, it, you know, they're there for you, whether it's, it's just moral support or stuff within the system. Like, cause, you know, being incarcerated, have my life, there's a lot of things I don't know how to do on the outside. It's cool to have somebody there who has access to a lot of information, things I don't know, somebody you can call, and it's helped a lot. When I was incarcerated, I had a negative influence on people. And when I got clean, I said, I want to help somebody. So if I could just help one person, that would be worth it. But the thing about it is me helping them and they're actually helping me. It reminds me anything's possible when you stop using drugs. I wake up, I'm so happy to come in here and try to see somebody and touch somebody's life. Whether they get it or not, it's not mine. It's not my decision, but to let them know that there is a way out. There's nothing more gratifying than that. This Rutgers program has a human touch to it that is very powerful. And we believe that by adding that human element, to the traditional ways of treating addictions with medications and uh, education is, is very important. Opiate use disorder can be fatal, and we see that and we hear it every single day. And the impact on society is huge. It impacts the cost of health care. It increases the costs and the impact on the, the criminal justice system through arrests. So putting programs like this in place where you can reduce recidivism and relapse not only impacts and, and uh, benefits the individual, but it really does benefit society as a whole. I feel like the biggest thing this program has given me is hope because I was ready to continue getting high, maybe being incarcerated until I was dead or an old man in prison and you know, Today, I'm not willing to do that. I have hope in my life. They've given me hope. They've given me a different way to go, and I'm grateful for it.